Guys, Dave here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a review on the All Weld 1544 Mud Series Hull. It is a 15 foot long by 44 inch wide taper chine .100 aluminum uh, uh, floors, decks, uh, the sides, everything's .100. It is foam filled. Uh, it's mostly an open haul plan. It does come pre-wired with pretty decent uh, lights. They lock in pretty smooth. Never had them come out. I've been running it uh, probably about 8 to 10 hours now just to try to get a feel for it, get some time on it before I did a review on it. Um, it does have one single keeled running down the center of it. We did put hydro turf in here, but it does come standard with a uh, non-skid surface, and it's, it's pretty decent. The cleats are kind of cheap, but I mean, that's, it, it is what it is. You just take it off. You can take them off and get some nice, uh, nicer ones put on them. Uh, All Weld offer, also offers uh, these seat bases. These are just some cheap seats I put on the match the boat. The other one don't match so well. I mean, that's what you get for ordering off of Amazon sometimes. The, uh, the uh, also comes rigged with a trolling motor mounting area for a deck mount. It comes wired for trolling motors. I just use them for auxiliary lighting. I don't really run a trolling motor a whole lot. Um, I got it to where it's plugged into my lights and it's plugged into my sound system. Um, but as you can see, it's a really open hull. Uh, nice gun uh, gun rails on it, real nice and thick. I'm running a modified uh, Predator 670 uh, surface drive. The surface drive is actually made by Gator Tail. I just stripped it down to, you know, direct drive, no reverse, nothing. Try to keep things light and simple, so you know nothing breaks. I got it wired up decently clean. I didn't want to put extra holes in it or cut anything in there I didn't want that would possibly get moved later on so I put everything in kind of a conduit box and bolted it to it. Um, it does have the split seat which is really makes it nice for washing it out. The floor is welded in and foamed underneath. Um, I did add in a uh, uh, backwater uh, uh, grab bar. It's actually a pretty decent grab bar. It has a quick release here and you can fold it down if you need to. Nice CNC machined uh, feet on it. Uh, four bolts a piece and they screw right down into the floor. What's also nice about this boat is it has longitudinal uh, stringers in it. So they're, it's really stiff and, and you know you don't get a whole lot of flex out of it. Um, it. It actually handles chop pretty decently as long as it's not ridiculous. Fairly dry boat. The uh, taper chines as you can see here really help with steering. I mean instead of uh, sliding like most uh, square chine boats do you tend to dig in and the boat kind of cuts and it kind of you know banks and yanks a little bit so it makes it real nice for getting into tight areas and when you're going fast you don't have to worry about sliding into palm trees or cypress groves or cypress knees um, I did manage to hit a couple things with it on the bottom um, nothing serious down here didn't really mess anything up so we did get it airborne and uh, the point 100 seems to hold up pretty good especially with the stringer design um, it does have one drain hole in the back back in there fuel tank uh, six gallon fuel tank sits pretty nicely between the knees it does have dual knees uh, no wood in the transom it's an all aluminum transom uh, you have your trim tabs here. I haven't really messed with them at all, but you know they're there if you need to. Uh, the rear eyelets are big, thick, looks like cast aluminum eyelets, welded completely on. They're nice. The uh, the uh, diamond plate uh, uh, gussets are actually really decently thick and strong. Um, I've had no cracking on it. I've had the motor jump out of the water a few times and slam back down and. I've seen uh, no cracks in any of the welds. They're nice, thick welds. As you can see, there's the conduit chase that runs the wire. You can't really run anything else but what they have in there because the conduit chase is real small. 
hence why I had to run the uh, the uh, everything off the trolling motor rigging, but it works out good. The like I said, it's a it's a great boat. It handles well with a surface drive. I got I'm probably pushing 30 plus out of this engine, um, and that's getting me around uh, 20, 28, 29 miles an hour you know by myself with a hunt load uh me and my family take this boat out this we use we can't afford to have a whole bunch of different kinds of boats so we have two kids my wife and the dog and a full cooler and we still are still able to stay on plane at 25 miles an hour 26 miles an hour it does pretty good uh it gets right up on plane it does sit a little lower in the back because of the taper chines but for the steering capabilities, it's it's worth the trade-off. But that's the all-weld. Decent boat. Now this this uh, nose guard here, the the, the diamond plate nose guard. Uh, I hit, I've hit a few trees with it and stuff like that. No dents or dings in it. You know, you kind of glance off of it a little bit, especially since they put these. Uh, uh, nice little uh, 45s on them so that helps out well it helps out as much as it possibly can uh, they also reinforced where the hook eye is down here it's all welded in and so you don't have to worry about breaking that off too easily but other than that it's been a good boat they are uh, US Coast Guard rated so they do have foam in the deck and they do have foam underneath the floor and foam in the uh, seat pods in the back but I can't. I have no complaints about this boat. It's a decent boat for the price, and it it takes the abuse. Well, thank y'all again, and uh, subscribe and uh, like, and I uh, hope that helps anybody out that's looking for look, looking for looking at the all welds. We'll do another review on the uh, Marsh series soon, and uh, until next time.